Hello and welcome! The Wii is home to a great many games and with its backwards compatibility with the GameCube, it's your one-stop shop for a lot of Nintendo games. And today I want to show you how to play your backed up games on your Wii, right after a quick message from this video's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by 16-Bit Store. Over the years we have developed styluses for all of Nintendo's systems. From the original DS all the way to the new 2DS XL and even the Wii U. So if you need a new set of styluses for your own systems, why not visit 16bitstore.com today and get 15% off your next order with offer code 16bitreview when you order two or more items. As always with these guys, you should only be playing the backups of the games which you've created yourself. If you like to see how to make backups of your own games, I will go into an explanation for how to make disk backups with the Homebrew Software USB Loader GX. However, if you want to make backups that are compatible with emulators or other platforms, please watch our previous video discussing how to make your own uh, disk game backups with a Wii or uh, watch our recently updated video for how to back up Wii games on a Wii U as this goes over how to back up Wii eShop titles. As well, in this guide, you may need to install a custom iOS to your Wii since that's the only way you're going to be able to play backed up Wii games on your system. From my understanding, it is reversible, but the process is a little risky. I will have guides linked below which can help you restore your Wii to a virgin state, but for the purposes of this guide, I'm just showing you how to configure your Wii so you can play both GameCube and Wii game backups. To play disk backups on your Wii, you will need the Homebrew Software USB Loader GX and D2X CIOS installer. And if you wish to play GameCube games, you will need to download and prepare Nintendo. We will be following the Wii.Guide tutorials for this process and the download links will be in the description. Let's start with USB Loader GX. You can download it from Wii.Guide and to install it, just copy the files into the app folder on the root of your Wii's SD card. The same thing can be said about the D2X CIOS installer. While Nintendo requires a bit of extra work, you'll need to download the loader.doll, rename it to boot.doll, download the meta.xml and the icon.png. Then you're going to place all three files into a folder called Nintendo and move them to your Wii's SD Cards app folder. Now that we're ready to go, let's start with setting up the GameCube games. Thankfully, to run GameCube games, we don't need to do anything outside of the pre-installed packages. But you will need a FAT32 formatted device in order for this to work, and despite how easy that may sound, for some reason the Wii's compatibility with USB drives is kind of hit or miss. I have multiple 32 plus gigabyte uh, devices that can easily be formatted to that 32 but has massive issues on the Nintendo Wii just because uh, they'll either not work altogether or will partially work but you can't write to it which cause a monotony of errors from games loading but freezing and crashing spontaneously or just the inability to back up games altogether. It is a really bizarre uh, situation. I would advise you to look up the GBA temp wiki for compatible devices to make sure that the device that you're planning on using is compatible. I had to get this Hitachi 320 gigabyte hard drive which I pulled out of an old laptop in order for me to actually get a usable experience with USB Loader GX. So if you want my personal opinion on how you should configure this, I would advise you to use the SD card for GameCube games since it seems that most SD cards just work out of the box with the Wii whereas you should use an NTFS formatted uh, hard drive or large format uh, drive 
that is compatible based on the list for your Wii games and just set it up within the configuration. If you do it right, it should just work. On the device that you choose to use for your GameCube games, you will need to create a new folder called Games on its root. Here you'll create new folders for each of the GameCube's ISOs and place the ISOs into the game folder that you made for it. Finally, you'll need to rename the ISO to game.iso. Anything else won't work. But if you do have a multi-disc game, you'll need to put the second disc inside the same folder as the first disc and name the second disc to disc2.iso. The first game is still called game.iso. And with that all done, you are ready to go. Just plug your USB and SD card into your Wii, launch the Homebrew channel, and load the USB Loader GX. Your games will appear automatically and you'll be able to play them via Nintendo. On a small note, if you accidentally called your folder games or called it GameCube games and your games aren't showing up, there is a way to remap which folder it looks at for it to show up. It's just a little annoying. Another thing is USB Loader GX allows you to back up your disk games to your system in a format which it's capable of recognizing. So if you wanted to, you could just use USB Loader GX, throw your games into your system and have it prepare your Wii so that it can play both your GameCube and your Wii game discs. And the cool part is it formats your Wii games so that it can actually run it. Though you will need to install the CISO since if you try to run the game otherwise it'll just crash to your homebrew channel. But if you already have Wii ISOs backed up, or if you're like me and you've purchased Wii games from the Wii U and already converted them to iOS ISO files, then if you want to prepare them to work with USB Loader GX, you will need to use a piece of Windows software called Wii Backup Manager, which will convert your Wii ISO files into the appropriate WBFS files that will run on USB Loader GX. Once done, you are pretty much ready to go to run your Wii games on your Wii, but you'll first need to download your custom iOS files to your Wii and install them. You will need an internet connection to do this, or you'll need to pre-download the files beforehand. Now, I'll show you the footage of me adding the CIOS files to my Wii. However, please go to the Wii.guide forward slash CIOS.html for the up-to-date versions and the correct settings to ensure that you're putting in the correct values. As this is modifying your iOS partition of your Wii and the changes are permanent. Once you follow the guides that are provided and install the CIOS to the recommended blocks, you're ready to go. Exit the installer, boot into USB Loader GX, and enjoy your Wii games. From some of the other guides that I've seen floating around on the internet, there is a better version of USB Loader GX which can actually install your Wii games as channels to your Wii's menu, rather than having to boot from the homebrew channel every time. But for me personally, I don't see it as much of an inconvenience. However, how you wish to go forward with this is down to you. Honestly, having the ability to play most, if not all of my Nintendo disc games on one system is pretty amazing. But anyways, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have yourself a great day, and as always, take care.